Across the Middle East, millions of people have been displaced. Wars, conflicts and instability have triggered an international humanitarian crisis. Along the Gaza Strip, for example, the 50-day war is over, but its effects are still very much alive. We need five years at least to build what was destroyed in 50 days. And because in the reality we have 400,000 people who are, were displaced during the war. The Catholic Church, through its main charity, Caritas, has a presence in these war-ridden areas. Leaders held a meeting in Rome to see how to move forward and how to deal with the logistical challenges of actually getting people help. It was difficult in Gaza during the war because it was closed, now it is possible again. But in Syria, it remains very difficult to access the victims. There are about 10 million Syrians affected by the war. That's huge. In the Iraqi city of Mosul, for example, it's practically impossible to physically deliver the aid and supplies to people, since ISIS has the region surrounded. But Catholic charities are set up in neighboring cities like Erbil, offering aid. The challenges, though, are still many. Along the Gaza Strip, school is back in session, but the buildings are being used by the displaced, and students have nowhere to go. Now they are living where? In the schools of the UN. But you know that school should start, and started last Sunday. Where can we put them? It's not only a humanitarian crisis these regions are dealing with. This is also triggering economic instability. Caritas says its mission isn't just to provide supplies, but rather to give spiritual, psychological and moral support to those who've lost everything.